Hey guys, this week in the rundown, we're talking about changes to the Navy's GMT program hitting the fleet. We have an interview with the Navy Chief of Chaplains as we highlight Suicide Prevention Month and changes to the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal. Earlier this year, SECNAV said he would end general military training as we know it. The Navy has updated the program to make it more efficient and effective for sailors across the fleet. The program will be split into two categories, Standardized Core Training, SCT, and Navy Command Assigned Readiness Enhancement, or CARE. SCT is the annual required training that we are all familiar with. With CARE training, triads will be given more flexibility to determine how to implement GMTs to make them more effective for their command. Command triads can also determine the schedule of trainings so that they are administered when they are most impactful and relevant. To read all the details of the change, check out the NAV admin on NPC or read the five things you need to know about the GMT on Navy Live. So, it's Suicide Prevention Month, and as part of it, MC1 Fabrizio was able to talk to Navy Chief of Chaplains, Rear Admiral Margaret Kibben. She spoke about how we can recognize the potential signs others may present, where sailors can turn to in a time of need, and the overall importance of caring and listening to our shipmates. Here's a bit of that interview is that when an individual is struggling with something in their lives and they just really want something to talk, someone to talk to about all those issues, whether suicide is on the table or not, they know that they can come to a chaplain with complete confidentiality. And should the decision be part of their thoughts that they might be thinking about suicide, to just lay that out on the table sometimes is really very important so that they can just know that somebody heard it and then therefore they see that somebody has heard them. And in hearing them, then maybe suicide gets taken off the table. Check out the full interview on Navy Live. Finally, an all-nav has been released that creates two new missions for sailors to qualify for the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, or GWAT-E. Now, the GWAT-E Medal may be worn by sailors who served in Operation Enduring Freedom Sentinel or Operation Inherent Resolve. Be sure to read the AllNav 062-15 on NPC that provides all the details about the change. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.